Hey guys, I'm going to be telling you about a lucid dreaming technique called the SILES technique, the senses induced lucid dreaming uh, tutorial method. Okay, now this technique is uh, not new. It is, uh, I think it was created by someone called Cosmic Iron on a, some forum somewhere. I can't remember the exact details, so sorry about that, but I will try and remember and put it in the description. Essentially, this technique involves focusing on your senses, as the name suggests, right? So it works very well for beginners uh, because it doesn't rely on much um, technical knowledge. It's just sort of like a step-by-step -step thing that you do, um, much like the wake back to bed, I guess you could say. Not like the wild, which obviously takes a bit more practice and needs a bit more um, experience, I guess you could say. You know, it takes a bit longer to master that. It's quite difficult. So the senses-induced lucid dreaming technique, the style technique, involves um, going to sleep sleeping for about six hours, waking up, okay, during your REM sleep, because as you remember guys, hopefully I always tell you this, um, your REM sleep is where you're most likely to lose a dream in the early hours of the morning. Um, it involves targeting this time and focusing on your senses. So the way it works is this, you set your alarm, six hours, you sleep for six hours, okay, you then wake up at about, say, 5, 6 a.m., and you turn your alarm off, then you lay there, you don't move, okay, and now you're going to perform uh, three, I guess you could say, cycles, right? So you're going to focus firstly on your uh, sight, then on your hearing, what you can hear, and then on what you can feel, okay? Um, I think that's, that's the correct way of doing this. So you'll spend 30 seconds, okay, just focusing on what you can see. So you can either do this with your eyes open, looking around the room, or you can do this with your eyes closed, which I would recommend, and what you can sort of imagine or what you can um, visualise, okay? So if you find it hard to visualise, start with doing this with your eyes open. If you don't find it hard to visualise, then do it with your eyes closed, okay? So 30 seconds, you're going to focus just on what you can see, okay? Then you're going to spend about 30 seconds focusing on what you can hear, and this can be things you can hear in the real world as you're laying there in your bed, or it could be things that you imagine hearing. Okay, the point is just to listen to the sounds and really um, try and take in the tonality, you know, the volume, all the subtleties of the sound. Okay, don't worry about trying to listen, just sort of let the sounds come to you. Okay, much like meditation, you don't try and think, you just let the thoughts wash over you. Okay, so do that for 30 seconds, then spend another 30 seconds focusing on what you can feel. Okay. Now, what I mean by this is what you can physically experience as you're laying there in the bed. How does the mattress feel against your back? How do the pillows feel against your head? Okay. Uh, is it cold? Is it warm? Focus on the really small details of what you can feel, your kinesthetic sense. Okay. Uh, now, once you've done that, you can repeat the cycles. Um, I think the original technique was that you were meant to do, like, you meant to go through those three cycles, okay, uh, sight, hearing, and feeling quickly so you go through them quickly at the start and then you slow down and you spend longer on each one maybe 90 seconds or so i would suggest just going straight in and doing 30 second cycles so i'd suggest going to sleep for six hours when you wake up turn your alarm off and then go it straight into doing 30 second cycles with these three different senses uh, i've not included uh, your smell the sense of smell because um, I find that's not as effective. I'm not sure if that was in the original, but I just thought I'd modify it slightly. Um, so I'd suggest leaving that one out and just focusing on what you can see, hear, and feel, either in your mind or in real life. Okay, if you find it easier to visualize, like I said, in um, with your eyes closed, do that. If you don't, then keep your eyes open and look around the room, see what you can see in your own bedroom. Okay, now. The idea behind this technique is that it's focused on uh, sort of priming your mind. So you're going to, like, like I said, you're going to sleep for six hours, you're going to wake up, you're going to do these cycles of 30 seconds where you focus on one sense at a time. After that, when you feel like you're sufficiently relaxed and you could go back to sleep, you're going to go back to sleep with no intention other than becoming lucid. Okay, so don't don't keep yourself awake as you would try to do um, like a wake back to bed technique. Don't try and keep your mind awake. Just let yourself fall asleep after you've done those cycles of focusing intently on your senses. And you'll find that you should naturally um, become lucid as a result of that because you've woken up. Okay, so you've got the sort of adrenaline spike. You've got the wake-up hormones, I guess you could say, uh, flowing through you to some degree. 
you've focused on your senses, so you've primed your mind for awareness and um, alertness. Okay, you've you've practiced focusing on certain things, um, and then you're going back to sleep during your, you know, the golden time for lucid dreams, which is the early hours of the morning. So it's sort of a very you're stacking the odds in your favour. Put it that way, you're very likely to lucid dream if you do that, um, and that's why it's such a a good beginner's technique, I guess you could say, because it's fairly easy to learn, it's fairly, fairly easy to do, and it's fairly effective. I mean, it won't work all the time, but it will work a lot of the time. Um, so that's it, guys. This is a short video. This is just under six minutes. Um, please check out my um, dream vlog channel if you haven't already. Go to the website, howtolucid.com. Um, you know the drill. <laughs> leave a comment. Um, I think if I, if you leave a comment and a like on this video, um, I'm going to pick one of you at random to win um, one of my ebooks, probably the Superpowers Guide or the Bootcamp or something like that. So go ahead and leave a comment. You can comment as many times as you want. I guess the more you comment, the more likely it is that I'll pick you because there's more things to, you know, more um, of your name on the comment feed. So anyway, leave a comment. Uh, see you in the next video.